Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're gonna do today is remove and reinstall the foot peg. Uh, maybe you're putting custom ones on, maybe yours are screwed up, maybe whatever. I'm gonna show you how to take this thing off and put it back on. But while we're at it, I'll show you how to take the mount off and put it back on, because it's a handy skill to have. And uh, if you're doing things like replacing the clutch cable or something, you might need to know how to get in there. So let's move in for a closer look. To remove the left side foot peg mount, you have two Allen screws here. They each take a 5 16 Allen wrench. I have an Allen socket in place of an Allen wrench. Uh, it's just a lot handier and a lot stronger. Wait a minute. There we go. You don't actually need an extension this long. I'm just doing this so I can get my hands out of the camera shot. Lefty Lucy, that one free. Pop on over the other side. Lefty Lucy, that one free. Full disclosure, I broke both these bolts free before I did this, before I hit record. So, saves a lot of grief. So hold your foot peg up a little bit. Lefty Lucy, that bolt all the way on out of there. Then, Lefty Lucy, the other one all the way on out of there. Probably blocking all the light there, aren't I? All right. Now here I have the mount off of the bike. Obviously to remove the foot peg, you don't actually have to take this entire mount off, though it does make it a lot easier because you're not lying on the ground looking upside down at the bottom of your foot peg. But what we're gonna look at to take this thing off of here is the snap ring that's located right there. So we have our snap ring pliers and what we're going to do I'm going to spin the snap ring so you can see it easily. I'm going to take the two pins here on the snap ring pliers. Take the two pins here. Hopefully this lighting's okay. Put them down into the eyelets and squeeze and you'll see the snap ring spread apart. Hopefully once it spreads apart, you should be able to lift it right up off of there. Don't go too far or you'll bend it. Set that off to the side. From there, you should be able to take this pin and push it up and it should slide out of there. And from there, you can actually take the foot pegs off. Now you'll notice this washer just fell out of here. Uh, what this washer does is it keeps the foot peg from seen here and doing this the whole time as the bike's idling it's just a little spring tab you'll notice it's got like a little warp to it it's really just kind of a spring to hold tension on that so to reinstall your new foot peg i would recommend sliding this thing in there first and it goes in it goes in squared off end first slide it right up in there then you can take your new foot peg and slide that in place. You should be able to look down inside there and see everything's lined up. Then take your pin, slide it back in there like so, turn it over, and then reinstall your snap ring. Squeeze it out, whoops. Might have to hold the pin up with your finger there. Squeeze out the snap ring pliers, drop the snap ring on there, give it a visual inspection to make sure it's down inside that groove there. Everything looks all well and good. And now you're ready to reinstall the mount back on the bike. It's the exact same procedure for the other side of the motorcycle as well. I'm gonna take my size of this. Can't see it. 5 16 Allen socket or eight millimeters if that's all you have. And spin the bolts in there. Get the first one by a few threads. Get the second one in by a few threads. Then run them all the way in there. Oh. 
And of course, torque them to spec. 